2009, uh, till that I was working in the stock market. So I don't know anything about bamboo, so that has helped me actually because the thing is I don't know anything about bamboo. So because in stock market we have a rule that actually even if 50, 50 year or 20 year or 30 year experience people also will commit mistake. So no one will understand that who is fresh guy, who is experienced guy. So like that when I came to bamboo, the thing is I don't have any experience, so I, have, I got all the license to do any stupidity. So we tried and uh, it was actually uh, the journey, I'll tell you, I'll take a few minutes about the journey of the bamboo picker. We actually, I, I'm basically from Trivandrum. I met a craftsman in Trivandrum in 2000, not 2000, 1998. I was a caretaker in an apartment. So they organized a function in Trivandrum, uh, Hawa Beach. They called me, I was a caretaker of that apartment, they called me and said, we need a wild lampshades. I don't want anything modern or something like that. They want to display in, they actually they organize the venue like a phantoms venue kind of thing. So they need something wild lampshade. So I was searching for this one actually I didn't got, finally I met a person in uh, exhibition. I bought something, till now I am not able to say that what shape it is. So I bought few, my salary was six or 600 rupees. So I, I, I scared and paid the money because the thing is if they are not reimbursing, it's gone. <laughs> So I bought one thing and given to that uh, treasurer, he was so happy and he told that I need 20 more pieces, uh, this is the final design. Then I given the order to the craftsman and uh, something is attracted me. Then also I thought that if I get this lampshade, what I will do? I can hang in my house but my father will scold me that another one more expense electricity will go. Then also I, wait, I gone to that function, till night 12 o'clock I waited to get one piece. At night, 12 o'clock, after the function finished, one person came out, I asked, hey, give me one piece, the lampshade which I given. Hey man, go, the, all people are fighting each other to get one piece. This is in the shock, what is happening? Actually, these people, actually, this is a tribe person, he is making something. And these people, actually, they, uh, uh, they are attracted with something. Is, I have a bad, con con this one, uh, bad imagination that actually this thing, they won't get attracted, which is something made by the tribe. So next day what happened is, next day when I gone to office, again the treasurer called me, I need 20 more lampshades. This is continued like one to one and a half month. Then I said, what the thing is happening? Actually, he don't know where to buy it, he don't know where to sell it. I thought I can make money easily. So I told many people that I need some 10,000 rupees to 15,000 rupees. Now I am really feeling uh, proud that because in 1998 I thought about e-commerce, but still <laughs> now only we started our website also. So I thought, okay, if I start some e-commerce, then I will put the photo. No one will understand that what capacity I have. Only the website will show. So I told many people that I want to start something. Can you fund me some 10,000 rupees to uh, uh, make some product and will display it? And I go to meet one uh, web designer. He told, first we have to check the keyword using for bamboo to understand that which keyword we have to use for the website. Then he is supposed to type bamboo, I told wait, you type handicraft. Then he typed handicraft, he got about 5 or 6 lakh keyword per day searching around the globe. Then I told now you type bamboo. Can you imagine that is more than 80 lakh? Then I, what is happening, why this is actually this much difference? Then I came to know that, now also I will tell you, if you want to buy a handicraft or anything, you have many branded shops are there, online facilities are there. But if you want to buy a bamboo craft, only the exhibition is the platform for the artisan and only the exhibition is the platform for you people to buy that. There is no other way, there is no brand. So I thought, okay, we will create a brand. But till 2010, hello, till 2010, uh, sorry, uh, till 2009, I, I told this same thing to all the people. People doubted about the craftsmanship, people doubted about the commercial aspect. The most common question I got from all the people then why others not starting? That pulled me down like anything. Okay, why others not starting? Why how I can start? So about nine years I, I doubted that okay, something is wrong, that's why no one is starting. And in 2008 I am waiting for a train from Cochin to Trivandrum. I got a India Today book. In that book actually there is a cluster in Wayanad, it's called Oro. They about 100 to 150 people, they are giving employment in the tribe cluster. It's an article about this Oro. 
In that article, about 20% is about the bamboo to but 80% mentioned about the cluster. That 80% is what I am thinking from the past 10 years, is like a brain map kind of thing. Then I thought if people actually pulling me down, this is a printed thing, what I am thinking, same only is came. Again, as was telling, people did the same thing. So finally I dropped and I joined in stock market and all. When I came to Bangalore in 2009, one of my cousins, he is working in Infosys. He told me why you can't start. The, what, is, what are the negative questions I gathered from 2000 to 2009? I, I tried to tell him that, no, no, you should not start. These are the problems. Then finally he said, you have to start. Then we started in 2009 and I gone to NID. NID supported us. He told that we are making many designs. No one is manufacturing. You can start manufacturing. Then initially NID said we will support you. We will support you to market. The first two, one to two months, I scared that how to market it, how to market it. But from that third month to as of now, if I am going to NID, I am scared that if he will order, what I will do. That is the situation now. So, one main challenge I faced in the bamboo sector, one is the problems are there, I am not considering it as a problem, these are opportunities. Big opportunities there in bamboo sector. Even for furniture, 27,000 crore is Indian market. Even 1% of the furniture is about 27 crore worth of order. If they are giving to all the industries in bamboo sector, then also it will take one and a half year. No one is there. So, the problem is there is no B2B in the bamboo sector. We face the problem to source the material, to treat the material. There is no machinery available. There is no ready-made skilled people available. So, 80% of our energy we spend to, for the sector to run the venture. That's the only way we're doing. And we're doing that. And also, by, because of that, we, we, also, we got big chance to associate with all the scientists. Uh, Chidangasa, IWST, we associate with the Bamboo Society, we associate with uh, uh, NID, graduates, all those things. Now we entered into, we are into bamboo, our face is bamboo furniture and we also doing bamboo construction. Our factory in KR Puram, we constructed with bamboo and purely with mud without using cement, it's two storied building. I will show you all the photos and if, if you have any questions, we can. This is my venture. It's named Bamboo Pecker. You can see the website. We have an online store also. These are the products we make. We are using 5 to 6 varieties which is easily available here. We are using, mainly we are using the variety is called stock side. This, uh, this particular variety is available in the end of the Western Guard from Khanapur, Belga, uh, Sindhudurg up to Gogarna, Goa, that region. This will grow solid actually up to six to eight feet there won't be any hole in this after that the hole will start small hole will start if the dia is more the hole will start early this particular bamboo we using to make all the furniture frames because the joinery will be easy because it's a solid content the joinery will be easy and uh, also all the hollow bamboo also we do you can see our factory also that is a picture of our factory and this particular structure you can't this one, above that actually it's in Hosur, we put 4 inch concrete. We consider as given to the architect, they put 4 inch concrete in that. See, as I said, 80% of our energy is spending for the sector. There is no other way. In any wooden furniture or anything, if you want to start, you, you will get ready made wood somewhere. You will get the labor, you will get the tool, you can go and buy which variety wood you want, you can buy and come. For me, I have to start from farmer. I have to meet the farmer, I have to get the forest officials, how to get the material, which quality, what quality. There is nothing called switch on material will come. I have to work in the rural and I go on and we used to work, we will carry from bamboo from. Sometimes what happens is bamboo will be there inside. There won't be any vehicle access. You have to carry the bamboo to the road, then only you can load to the lorry. If it's rainy season, again 5 km we have to walk. So all those difficult, till getting us, we have 7 to 8 year experience, but till getting the material in my premise, still the uncertainty is there. But we getting the material from Endair, Karnataka, Goa, Silcha, we also imported from Vietnam. So these are the different kind of varieties we used to source it. 
and the prob problem is actually it's not like a supermarket you can go which variety you want you select pick and keep it one particular species you have to depend where it is native to that the stock say if somebody is calling me from Kerala and telling that I have stock say I'll give I won't buy it because that particular variety will grow with that parameter only in the end of the western cut nowhere else and like the big bamboo we will get only in Kurg, why not that region only it won't grow anywhere else like that few species we identified the native area we will source only from those places and this is our treatment facility the thing is the treatment problem is what is happening is because of the absence of the industry the scientists also have the limitation to test that how properly the treatment mechanism or uh, the uh, the solutions will work what happened is they chopped a bamboo in from their yard they tried testing and the acid everything is working problem for me is one truck material means about 700 to 800 materials will be there in one lorry to harvest that it will take 15 days to reach that material to my place it will take 20 days within that 20 days the cellulose everything will get close so it will become solid the water or acid won't penetrate inside the bamboo the first time what happened is the scientist told me okay 24 hours you have to do the treatment I done the treatment in 24 hours given the chair to him for him itself the pest came so then actually I don't know what I said as you said I treated as per your guidelines then we realized that this is an issue we searched with all the people they said no because the thing is this is my moisture content gone down so the penetration is not happening why bamboo need to treat the problem in bamboo is not termite there is a borer attack bamboo is basically from sugarcane family the sugarcane what happens is we can identify that how much sugar content is there we can taste it but in this bamboo actually is a sugar very tiny pest is there that drilling pest so that for them actually that small quantity of sugar is more than enough so the thing is this pest will come for two purpose one is to make the shelter second is to eat the bamboo after making the shelter first it will see that the shelter parameter is satisfying in bamboo then after seeing that okay it will drill and it will lay the egg and go the babies will eat the bamboo you know the ladder anybody heard that ladder is nobody nobody is treating no no one will treat ladder that will be there in the outside one day it will be here one day it will be there rain will be there sunlight will be there so it's not a safe place for the pest to make the shelter so but i can't give the furniture and tell the client that three days you keep it outside four days you keep it in balcony so the thing is i have to solve food i have to break the food parameter not the shelter parameter the food parameter actually what i'm doing is there is three kind of system is there one is the uh, cca copper chromium arsenic ccb uh, copper chromium borax but both i'm not using because of the toxic now i am using the boric borax which is a mild salt so in the boric borax what is happening is 24 hours i did the treatment then slowly i increased to 24 hours to one day to two day to three day to four day to five day to 15 day it's taken about six months in the initial stage till six months i am getting scolding from the client and all blasting from the client that this pest is coming like that so but then i realize if i am getting one track material and that will take six months time to all this process because one tank I can't keep more than uh, 300 or 400 bamboo so every time I can't do that so then we realize okay from 15 days how we can reduce the treatment mechanism then we introduced milk pasteurization technology there they are using a boiler in that boiler runs with my bamboo waste 1000 liter water will boil into 80 to 90 degree in 40 minutes after that there is a traditional treatment method in Vietnam they will put the bamboo into river water and once the river water goes the, it will take the starch and go out but here in Bangalore which river is there I can put the bamboo okay so it's not possible for me because of that this boiler we did a, this a circulation mechanism so after this thousand liter boils the circulation mechanism this will serve the water will circulate about eight to nine hours the end tank will become 80 to 90 degree <coughs> that we continue for two to three days and we'll keep it in the tank for one week after that we'll take it out and we'll do the power and because of this i can use all my waste to burn it <coughs> we do the structures you can see 
these are all the structures this is our uh, factory uh, our people staying area this particular mud wall we constructed without using cement we use the jaggery chuna and dry grass turmeric and lime we mixed and uh, compressed the block we made it there is no cement in this it's a two story building office also we did the same i'll show you that this is actually in the terrace near hl we constructed above the terrace they have the proper view about the view of uh, hl runway they want to see the runway we constructed above the terrace so this is our office you can see it's actually two story it is fully with mud there is no cement in that only this floor area is having cement apart from that there is no cement in that and there is no paint also this is actually plastered with again uh, cow dung maida and jaggery here we use the pillar beam everything is bamboo and uh, the wall is actually constructed with the mud so this is a goshala what he said actually in the malo there is a goshala near uh, itc noodle factory we constructed the goshala shed and i will show you the final finish photo sorry that is missing okay. so this is a uh, shed if we can search for the goshala i'm missing the final fi finished picture most of the time it's in bangalore what happens is the terrace structure they will consider bamboo because no need to take any additional permission because this will consider as a temporary structure so we the terrace actually they most of the people that convert to yoga hall or party hall like that we did many structure like this you can see this bamboo we bended by heating the same one single bamboo we bended the stock side we bended in different angle by heating we bended it we also exported we exported the bamboo to uh, netherland germany and egypt the problem is the early bird having different kind of issues what happens is when i first exported to egypt uh, there is one particular bamboo called melocana basifera is banned for export that is banned for export because in the code also the plant is banned for export not even pole but when i taken this bamboo to export they said you can't export bamboo for the customs officer everything is bamboo only and i fallen into position that all other 1459 species are not melocana basifera then we actually is taken three to four months to convince them and we given different kind of document and we exported it now with that document we can export anywhere when we imported also the first container we lost about six lakh rupees because when the imported cytosantry people they don't know what to do they initially they said because i checked all the details uh, there is no prohibited or ban or anything in bamboo import they said you can't import bamboo bamboo came into white field they said you can't import bamboo then i said what is the problem they said it's a ban then i gone through the ban list it's not a ban because i already checked then only imported it's not banned then i again gone they said no no it's not in the approved list <laughs> so if it's not in the approved list it's not in the ban list they consider it as a ban they don't know that we can import this also even i checked from 2010 to 2016 that in any parliament amendment is anything bamboo came that is banned nothing then they taken their own time three to four months to get the permission for faridabad that then demorage everything is gone more than the bamboo value i said you keep it it's still there in the customs office not taken that so these are the chairs this uh, we given for restaurants and all and this particular bamboo is called burma bamboo this will about 5 to 6 inch dia will be there you will get it in sagar shimoga area and uh, kur that area and these are the small kind of stools it's worn with the cane rattan bench of oh, sorry Mm, the benches there is no nail also in bamboo 
we can't use nail like wood wood what will happen is if you nail in the wall or wood it will catch the nail in bamboo what happens is fiber once you nail it it will provide the space to go inside nothing will hold the nail so we'll make a small hole we'll use the bigger nail with our date so the, that also nail also made out of bamboo only hangers stools this actually we split it there is no solid portion the bamboo we split it and bent it and made the chairs can you be, can it anyone can tell me that what it is we use the bamboo ply and socks in bamboo any guess it's a cat stand before we we wrapped with the coconut uh, kayak to scratch it we made bamboo bat also but the problem in this bat i used to play with this is the moisture is there more then you will score less <laughs> so but the elasticity is more actually the thing is it is very nice and the center piece is a single piece and side actually again this stock side made out of the stock side only it's a solid portion this is a uh, removable chair you can you can fold and keep it like that so we other areas we involved is craft and training from government and private and so our people are there actually they came from maharashtra 15 people actually they supposed to start the training today i told that it is today this function is you come to this function they are here so design and development of bank products most of the time client will come with a problem actually we have to solve and we will do that and uh, we actually there is no machine is available so we engage with few engineering college like bms and other engineering college to develop some machines for the furniture because all the machines which is available for the bamboo sector is for the agarbatti making and uh, also the thing is trading activities because the thing is just furniture the problem is in the one chair if i am selling it for 3000 rupees my raw material cost will be 300 to 400 rupees then also not sure that i am making money because one day he will take 3 days one day he will take 4 days one day he will take 5 days there is no because 80% of the cost is for the labor so the thing is uh, we have to be alive so we we engage with all the things we are trading the bamboo also when our people getting uh, required bamboo we will do the treated bamboo selling also and we also opening the our first exclusive showroom behind the uh, uh, sen marks behind the india garage we expecting to open within a month and that's a 100 year old stone building so we are going to start very soon and we have also online stock and uh, you can check bamboopicker.com also in the facebook also you can search bamboo picker and our vision to create rural employment that's the main thing actually we are here we want to create employment because the bamboo what happens is one is till starting the bamboo picker i thought i will make money from here there but after starting i realized that there is a lot of ecological impact because once you grow bamboo 35% more oxygen will produce and once you grow bamboo once you cut the bamboo after four year you are saving a tree indirectly or indirectly and even instead of using plastic instead of using metal you are using bamboo because in bamboo if you chop it why people calling bamboo also green because once you chop it actually the tree is not killing actually again the rhizome will produce new so if you are just cutting a branch of it up to 60 year bamboo will produce reproduce 15 km length worth bamboo one bamboo shoot can, one bamboo rhizome can produce that's approximate calculation and uh, we plan to establish different kind of clusters across india and processing main we are going to process because the thing is we can't bring all the craftsmen here to bangalore because some particular variety species will grow northeast and we need that material everything we can't import and do it so we have to uh, create a cluster across the country 